I'm Christine Chen and I work at Wong Fu Productions as a producer. What I do at Wong Fu Productions, in a, most, in a very romantic sense, um, I help three extremely nice guys um, tell their stories. What that means is I help make their dreams and their ideas into reality. They write a script and it calls for a dancing monkey running across the desert you know, with a horse. My job is to find a desert, see how much the permit is, see how much it is to rent a monkey, see if the monkey can dance, and then coordinate the schedule of the monkey and the horse and the crew. How I stay passionate about my work is very simple. I wake up and I get to play for a living. We get to make really either funny videos or touching videos about topics that we just have as friends in the office. You know, I get to work with like my friends. And just knowing that I play some sort of role in having maybe some kid out there watch this video and be like, hey, that made my day better. Or, you know what, if they can do it, I can do it too. You know, and it's like, that's why I'm passionate about what I do. A specific moment to me that stands out would have to be ISA Seattle. That was the first ISA that I traveled with them and actually got to see it behind the scenes. And I saw the amount of work and passion behind all these YouTube artists for the fans. Because when you add up all the numbers and you see the amount of work and volunteer hours of people, it's just a passion project. You know? It's in that moment where you have screaming fans and all they wanted to do was just catch a glimpse of them. And just knowing that it starts, the seed of it just starts from us being at the office, writing a script, telling a very normal story. And it could blossom into this unbelievable community of people. That was very rewarding, just knowing that I get to be a part of it. No, I had no idea that I was gonna end up doing what I'm doing now, what a producer even did, or if that was even a possible career. My life before Wong Fu Productions was all about special events. That was the path that I thought I was gonna be on. In college, I made it a point to get as much experience and get as many answers as I could before I graduated. And I ended up in interning at uh, DreamWorks Animation as a special events intern. You know, helping out on red carpet events, doing a lot of um, in-house parties for uh, the staff and all that. And it just led me to a whole new path that I didn't know existed. Like, I didn't know you could get paid to plan parties. In 2009, I kind of had a moment where I just kind of felt there had to be more. Special events is fun. It's and it wasn't that I wasn't happy, it's just I just felt like there was something missing. And at that point I decided to kind of rethink what it is that I wanted to pursue. So I literally went home one day and made a list of likes and dislikes. As simple as and basic as I like crafting, I hate paperwork, you know, I like dogs, I don't like cats. And I just went down the list and just kind of was like, okay, what are probable careers I can make of any of these things? And at the top of my list was something in the movie industry. Because as a kid, I loved movies. A lot of who I was and who I am now was based off of movies and scenes that I watched over and over again. And I think it was that that I, I was like, that's, that's incredible to be able to make a body of work and have it affect someone for the rest of their life. And it's something very personal and very true and genuine. And if done right, it can change lives. A learning experience that I've grown from, more so than just one instance, is accumulation of failures that um, has brought me to where I am now. At the time of the failures, you're just kind of like, what am I doing with my life? You know, like, how am I ever, how am I ever gonna get to where I wanna be going at the rate I'm going now? Looking back now, I may not understand why some of the things didn't work out the way I hoped they would, but it makes sense. It totally makes sense as to why those things needed to happen because if it didn't happen the way it did, I would not be here and I wouldn't be working at Waffle Productions. Don't be afraid of failure. Like Oprah said, failure is just another stepping stone to greatness. And it's so true. You need it to become a success in the future. All those quirks and so-called weaknesses of yourself, you learn how to hone that into a strength, you know? and you. That's what you bring into your next job, into your next stepping stone that nobody else can bring. When my parents first heard that I was 
not going to be a doctor or a lawyer. I think they were sad. They definitely were sad because they bred me to be on that path of success. And I don't blame them. I mean, that's how our parents grew up with. They, they want the best for us and then that's what they know that Asians can be successful on and in the future be stable. And then you can live your life, have a family and have kids. But when you choose something that's totally different from that, they get scared for you. That's essentially what it is. So it comes out as them being like, they disapprove of it or they're, um, they're angry at you for making such like impulsive decisions. But I'll tell you at the end of it, they understand. They understand because the end goal is that you want to be happy and they want you to be happy. I definitely had fights with my parents, like, like shattering fights, tearful fights. But I would say now, the other day we were just filming at my parents' place for Wong Fu Productions. My mom made an appearance on, you know, a Wong Fu sketch, you know, so they, they'll come around. When they see that you're happy doing what you're doing, they'll be happy for you. My advice for any young dreamer or any person that's currently in life going, where am I going? How do I fit into this picture? Go for it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. You're in the time of your life, especially in your 20s, like, make mistakes, you know? Don't be afraid of them. You're never going to get your dream unless you go for it. So your other option is to just continue on in your mediocre job, a job that you just will stay there for 20 years, you're gonna look back on and be like, ugh, if I was in my 20s, I should have done this. Yes, you should have, go, go do it. I think the biggest misconception in life is that tomorrow is guaranteed. We don't know if there will be, so why not with knowing that, take advantage of life. Live life the way you want to live now, you know, because you only have today. So don't be afraid, like, if I do this, my parents are going to hate me, I'm not going to be a doctor, I'm not going to, you know, be successful. So you'll figure out that success is not defined by money or status. You know, it's defined by how many lives you can potentially change, how fulfilling your life is, and going after your dreams. Thanks for watching the Always Summer Project. Open mind, open heart. Bye. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Follow me. Oh, are we doing with the follow me again? No. Okay, I'm oh, just no. No, 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 we're um we're summer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like always summer. Okay. My totes. Sorry, this comes out naturally. Okay.